Alright, hello everybody. So this is going to be a little, um, like, frequently asked questions, and I'm also going to go over how the cloth is going to work in a new add-on. Uh, the cloth is mainly made for people, like, animators who may want to add a little extra detail. It's not really meant for, like, uh, playing around with, but it is pretty fun to play around with. Uh, just in general so the cloth can be spawned in here it will look literally like this like this is probably how it will look like in the add-on um, let me go here and set my radius back to 10 so spawn a cloth and uh, I got an enable time scale hold up there we go so there you go that is the cloth uh, you can spawn with tool gun, spawn several, it's not really... Uh, the limit is whatever the particle count is uh, to the, like, the 16-bit integer limit. So, class is a little weird due to how C++ works. So, when you spawn, even though you spawn two cloths and you remove one, it will remove all of the particles. So, if I have water spawned down, and I spawn some cloth, and then I remove the cloth. It will, it will remove all the particles. That's just, that's just how it works. Uh, I think I might add a fix later, but that's, that's what happens now. So, uh, lots of questions. I, I read uh, a lot of the comments that you guys like say in descriptions and stuff because I, I want to try and involve uh, the community as much as possible. And a couple of things I said with regard to the cloth. Um, I did see some stuff about tearing cloth. While Flex does have, like, it can do it, I probably won't because it's not, like, I didn't want to make cloth, like, a thing that everyone would normally use in the add on. Um, and you, know, you can edit the size too, so if I want it to be that big, you can cover buildings and stuff like that. So tear, tearing cloth probably won't exist. Um, I, ju I just don't want to have to program it. It's it's quite annoying to have to work with NVIDIA Flex. It's it was made in like 2014, so it's like super old. And then I'm also like using Source, which has its own limitations, so it's quite annoying just to have to bind those two. Uh, oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention about the cloth. So do you want to spawn a couple of cloth down? You can see it starts hitting my performance pretty bad uh, even with just five spawn down I've got like 40 frames a second with some mild lag spikes so once you're done with like spawning all of your cloth you can go to here and turn this number to zero and it will stop updating the mesh so like like you I can mess around with this and it, it won't do anything kind of kind of like source 2 where you can like bake cloth into the maps that, that's kind of what it is. Alright, let me enable this again. Uh, another thing. What else, what else, what else? Oh, yes. So, I saw a lot of people that were going about cloth interacting with objects. So, uh, for instance, the object interacts with the cloth. And if I had a, like a bed here, kind of like this, and I had the cloth on top of this, then it would hold something in the middle like that. Uh, I won't do that and the reason is because cloth isn't actually inside of Gary's mod. It's being simulated externally uh, on the module. So like the the cloth sort of it, the the module uh, so you know the installer the exe installer so when you install it the um, it's an external module running C++ on your computer instead of Lua so all of the water all of the cloth uh, and stuff that's not actually Lua I saw a lot of people that were uh, a little confused by that no the, none of this is Lua the rendering is actually Lua um, the actual simulation part of it is in C++ and getting reaction forces from props and stuff is really difficult 
just due to how flex works. So, um, unfortunately, cloth won't hold objects like you want it to. It's it's just not going to happen. Uh, water only interacts with the cloth because it's part of flex. So, like. You can see the the cloth sort of pushes the water around and stuff, but that's that's because they're both flex. Um, Gary's mod props are not flex; they are source. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? So I okay. Let's move on to like frequently asked questions and stuff about the water. So I did update the material. It's circle now. I did a little hackery and decided to finally update the material. Uh, it's it's more circular now. Uh, you can go into the menu and I've added some extra materials. Uh, you probably don't have to worry about Z underscore cloth right now. Uh, but this is, ex this is expensive water material and it uses actual spears. Um, that should this, this will come all in the next update. So these uh, spheres, I mean I saw a couple people that wanted these. They're pretty performance intensive, so if I spawn like one of these, it, it gets super laggy pretty quickly, uh, which is why I didn't I didn't really like it. Oops, there we go. Um, so a lot of people suggested a couple of things with regard to meshing water, and we simply just aren't going to do it due to how hard it is to mesh water. Cloth is much easier because you have vertices, so like that's clear, that's clearly a, a vertice, so on and so forth, and you can easily go mesh, 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 mesh. But with water, it points can be anywhere, and it's harder to like mesh it. So like, is this a triangle? Like, it's it's hard to mathematically create an algorithm that makes the water look decent while also maintaining performance. Uh, uh, so I did see some people talking about the portal gel. Uh, we did go over portal gel. We tried to implement it. It's Gary didn't compile it for source so we don't we don't actually have access to it. We tried a whole bunch of stuff so water meshing just isn't gonna happen. Sorry, so um, let's let me get our list of the stuff we tried. All right, there we go. So we tried marching cubes, meta balls. Uh, we tried NPC surface, dynamic meshes, static meshes, stencils, injecting triangles into the source engine, uh, portal gel, returning a mesh object into Lua, render dot draw in a two D context, and render dot draw in a three D con context. And we also tried sprite blending. So we've tried so much stuff to make the water look as good as possible, and it's it's extremely hard to do. So this is just what you're gonna have to deal with with regard to the look of the particles. All right. Next thing. So there were a bunch of crashing and stuff on join. Like some people were mentioning that if that happens, then probably means your graphics card isn't good enough. Uh, if it is good enough, then please tell us what you're doing. Uh, disable like all conflicting add-ons and stuff because it, it is quite an unstable add-on. Uh, this is my like f basically my first C++ project. I'm I'm not good at C++. Okay, I'm more of like a Lua person, so like the development process for this add-on it took like six months just to just to get like stuff working <laughs> and like actually simulated um i've got a couple videos uh with regard to the lua gary water which is like an older version of the water that we tried to do in lua but lua just simply isn't fast enough for um dynamically simulating water uh, unfortunately so I'm gonna put a link to a couple of the test videos uh, that I put like a couple months ago uh, of the Lua. All right, um, next future stuff. Future stuff in the updates. So um, this is what most people have been waiting on. 
So we, I plan, like th this is planned to add, we're going to have a, some kind of water gun swept, uh, I had the idea of a Bluetooth hose. I think someone also mentioned the idea of a Bluetooth hose, which is kind of funny. So uh, that might be added, something like that. Oh, one thing that's already implemented is cloth and water interacts with vehicles. So I can I can spawn the water and stuff. And this, this is a Simphys vehicle. It should work with Half-Life 2 as well. Uh, spawn some cloth on here. Yeah, it sort of works. I might have to rotate the mesh around a little bit. Yeah, so I'll fix this in a, in a later update. But expect uh, cloth and water to interact with vehicles. Um, massive performance improvement. I did some, like a lot of performance improvements with regard to the water rendering. It used to get pretty bad frame rate rendering like all of this um like i think right now normally i would i would be getting about 20 frames per second and now i'm getting like 30 to 35 so it, it's a it's a massive improvement with regard to frame rate uh, which is pretty nice uh, everyone wants more frames <clears throat> uh so i think that's pretty much it I thought it was pretty funny. A couple of comments were pretty funny. I saw this um, one. I think it was like it thought the the like icon for the workshop was clickbait, and literally, literally, I went here in Big City and just did that, and and that's like that 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 is the the add-on like. <laughs> like <laughs> he thought it was clickbait and literally I just did that like, this is all I did and then I rendered it for like a couple seconds and then turned it into a gif and that was like that was it so I, th I thought that was pretty funny um, a couple the last thing to note are the maps that we used in the screenshots and stuff this is GM big city it's a open big city map it's it's pretty pretty popular. I think it's got like a million or two million downloads. So I'll be surprised if you didn't know about this already. Uh, we used Flatgrass and Construct for maps as well. Um, I think that's all I really all I really have to go over. Yeah, yeah, that's all I have to go over. So expect this update to come uh, February 1st. Uh, maybe like it'll I'll call it like a cloth update or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, 